Hello everyone and welcome to Arcadia where we are going to add another game over here to Gamertown, specifically to my little area of Gamertown. Now the game that we're making is Musical Chairs and this is very much inspired by Suzuma Void who was talking about musical chairs a little while ago in one of his videos and I thought that was really cool. In fact, let me show you. Here on Arcadia we have a data pack that lets you put a saddle on a thing and it access a chair. I think that's really cool. We can make musical chairs with this. Now the way that this works, let's grab a disc. Oh, this is a fun one. The way that this works is of course we play a song, but we need to be able to stop it. And we can of course right click it to start, stop it, but I don't know, that doesn't quite seem as fun. And so we want to be able to stop it automatically. Now you would probably think it'd be good enough to just put a hopper below it, there you go, and then it should take it out, but it doesn't unfortunately. You see hoppers, they take things in, look it's in the hopper now. However when you power the hopper, it doesn't take it in, do you see that? Now the big issue here with the jukebox is that when you put a record in, it emits a redstone signal, right? And that locks this hopper. Which means it's not really easy to take it out automatically. However, in a video from ZF, I saw something really, really cool. Apparently, you can just... And let's put the music disc in. Apparently, you can have it take it out by a minecart hopper. Look, it's now in the minecart hopper. It turns out that minecart hoppers cannot be powered the way that hoppers do. So this is our solution here. And with this, we can make a really cool game, I think. But before we go ahead and build that, there is something else that we need to take care of. Come on, Wood, let's go. Whoosh. Over here in our base, our cloud base, there's a package. And this package is from Kaimadar Diamond Ore Delivery. If you remember, a couple of episodes ago, Kaimadar and I made a deal. He wanted bamboo and I wanted diamond ore. Now, mostly I wanted to see if I could get diamond ore in exchange for diamonds and make a profit without doing anything. That didn't work out, but it looks like he has upheld. It looks like he has held up his end of the. That is so hard to say. It looks like he has upheld his end of the bargain. So um, I think it's only fair if I uh, uphold. It looks like he has upheld his end of the bargain, and so of course I must honor my end of it. I feel a little bit conflicted, of course, because last episode um, we discovered that he kind of destroyed our Lord and Savior. But I figure if we just deal with this professionally, we can move on um, and 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 continue messing with him without having the professional baggage of this deal. Please leave bamboo in the mailbox. Yeah, I can do that. There we go, bamboo delivered. I have no idea what this is. Now I figure, let's go fortune all of this. Here's the deal. For that much bamboo, if I were to just sell it to him directly from my store, he would have had to pay 100, 162 diamonds. He's paid me now 81 diamond ore, that's half. So if we get more than 162, then this would have been a really good deal for us. There we go, that's 128 at least, plus this is 137 off the top of my head. Uh, what? I, I can explain, I swear. I broke something. 137. Yeah, that's not right. So what happened here is I really only made two mistakes. What happened, first of all, I got to the wrong number. I must have punched in the wrong numbers because surprise I didn't actually do it off the top of my head which I guess makes it even more embarrassing <laughs> so the actual number is 175 right now I'm double checking wait yeah it's 175 so somehow I ended up at 173 I must have done something wrong there now in English when you read numbers you read the first one then the second one and then the third one right so in this case, you would say 137. Correct, right? Now in Dutch, and for those of you who don't know, I am Dutch, we kind of do it a little bit different. We say f first the 100, the bigger one, then we for some reason go for the, the one at the end, and then we go for the one in the middle. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I've always messed it up my whole life. So what we would say here is 100 and... Wait, what do we say? We say 107 and 30. You see how that's confusing? It's been confusing my whole life, and um, that's how I got to this number. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> there we go, I think this has been a pretty lucrative deal for us. <laughs> Welcome to a new segment called Overcomplicating Things with 100% Me! Woo! 
So as you can see, I'm almost finished here. Not quite. There's a giant hole in our table over here, but that's fine. The idea is this jukebox is in exactly the center of the table. And of course, this is what we'll be playing the music. So far, so good. Now over here, I've got some droppers similar to over what I did over there. With those randomizers, this will randomize the music discs going into the jukebox. Again, so far, so good. If I press this button, as you can see, we get a disc in here. And if I press this one, it'll be taken out and that stops the music. Again, so far so good. But then I got to thinking, right? How is this better than someone just picking up a disc from somewhere and putting it in there? And then taking it out when, when it's done. Instead of putting a disc in and out, you just have buttons doing exactly the same thing. So, um, overcomplicating things with 100% me! Anyway, now that I have it, I might as well continue working on it. Um, all I have to do at this point still is hook up these buttons to somewhere more central over here, somewhere more accessible. Which shouldn't be too hard, just some uh, redstone lines. Alright, so this should work. Now you press this button, it starts the music. There we go, you press this button, it stops the music. Is this obvious? I'm really not sure if this is obvious. I think it could be obvious. Start around, down here. Starts the round. Welcome. Welcome. Step right oh, it's that one. And this one stops it. I think that's obvious, I think it would work. Musical chairs, here's how it works. Here in the saddle box, there are saddles. You grab as many saddles as there are players, minus one. Then you put your saddles onto the chairs, making them proper chairs that you can sit in, just like so. Then somebody starts the round, and you just start running to the music, dancing, right, around the, around the chairs, around the table, and then when the round stops, which will simulate by stopping the round, you gotta run as fast as you can to the available seats. Whoever is still standing or floating, I guess, in this case. Well, they lose that round and they're out of the game. Oh, Wood did... Wood, where are you, buddy? Wood didn't seem to like it. He went over there. I mean, I get it. I. It was just an example. Do you want to play a proper round? We can do that. Let's go play a proper round. Maybe Wood will come back then. Oh, that's a fun song. Come on, buddy. See if he gets to his first. Well, you gotta sit in the chair. This is how you do it. I don't really think Wood wants to play anymore. Anyway, when you're done, you remove a saddle from the chair until there are no saddles left. There's uh, one winner. I don't think I've explained it well. I think that's why Wood didn't get it. Whoosh. Now, in building musical chairs right there behind me, it comes to my attention that this area is really, really very ugly. So what do you say we do something about this? And I know something fun, we'll do a time-lapse, and the time-lapse music will be whatever randomized music we get now. I swear I didn't plan this. Riding on my donkey through the desert Riding on my donkey through the sea now I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it just might if you give it a chance. The point is, it's just my donkey and me. And I said, yo, la di da di do, I've got no place to call my own, just my donkey friend, here I go. And I said, yo, la di da di do, my donkey, here is my home, and oh, my donkey friend, here I go. We're making camp beneath the starry night The moon in the sky looks so very bright I'm sleeping in a warm person tent But the donkey can join cause he is my friend In the end it's just my donkey and me And I said yo the la di da di do I've got no place to call my own Just my donkey friend, here I go and I said, yo, the la di da di do my donkey, here is my home, and oh, my donkey friend, here I go. And I said, yo, the la di da di do I've got place to call my own, just my donkey friend, here I go, and I 
see you the la di da di do my donkey he re smile and on my donkey friends here I go Yeehaw! So the song you just heard was My Donkey and Me by me. And this here is The Clubhouse. Also by me, but I sort of figured you would have already guessed that. Anyway, this is The Clubhouse because it kind of reminds me of a clubhouse. This is, in my mind, your typical clubhouse. Just somewhere out in the woods and it's filled with fun little games you can play. Oh, come on, wood. So I moved Who Am I to over here, so you can play that over here now. And it still works. Look at that, I'm RKB now. Of course, I'm cheating. But when you're actually playing, I've got a little area over here for people to play. Something I noticed when playing is there weren't any beds around, and so that was a bit of an issue because you're not allowed to open your inventory to place down your bed. So there are beds over here, and in general, you're just much better protected from the environment because, you know, you're inside. Though if you want to play outside, you can do that too. It's absolutely no issue. Bloop. And then over here, of course, I have Guess Who, which hasn't moved at all, but now it's got a roof over it. Isn't that cool? And as of right now, those are the games in the clubhouse, or inside it, rather. I do have a bit of an attic space up here, so we can do more games and expand upwards, but for now, that's it. Outside the clubhouse, of course, is musical chairs that we've made earlier. I decorated it a tiny little bit. My favorite color is still green, so, um, well, yeah, there. And then I've also moved the controls of it over here, so it's more part of the clubhouse, I guess. I don't know, this seemed to work out a little bit better. Now I'm sure you're absolutely dying to see a game of musical chairs played by me and my friends, but unfortunately that's not happening this episode. If you're going to play around, of course, I want to gather as many Arcadians as I can. And I just so happen to have a feeling that that will be sometime soon. This is not this episode. Speaking of episodes, this is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you're an amazing person. You deserve to do something nice for yourself. Bye bye. When I see you, la di da di do, I've got a place to call my own. Just my donkey friend, here I go. When I see you, la di da di do, my donkey he re smile, and all my donkey friends, here I go. Yeehaw!